I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this week has been one of the most boring for me in Pet Simulator 99 so far, and I'm not sure if that's because the content itself was boring, or maybe I'm just burnt out with the game in total. Either way though, I'm excited for this week's update because we have at least 7 leaks to go over, ranging from the brand new Spongebob egg, a dinosaur tycoon event world, and even some brand new enchants that we just have to talk about. All of this should come together to make quite the interesting update for this week's content, and Hopefully it is enough to spike my interest once again. This week I'm also going to be getting back into trading because that was one of the things that really sparked my interest about this game and I haven't really been doing it all that much. And that's pretty much how I got started with this channel so I'm going to get back into that in full force so expect some videos on trades this week. Either way though if I teach you guys something new with this video or you just enjoy me yapping about absolutely nothing please give the video a like and subscribe for more. But let's get right into each of these 7 leaks. Alright you guys so I did lie. It might be a little bit more than seven leaks. I just kind of like bunched them up into seven different categories. So some of these leaks actually have about like two to three parts to them. But either way, probably one of the biggest announcements and probably one of the biggest leaks that we've gotten so far this week actually came from big games themselves. And it's this leak that I'll have on the screen here, which is the brand new exclusive egg that we're going to be getting in the shop tomorrow, which is called the SpongeBob exclusive egg. So yes, as you guys can see, this egg is based around around the show Spongebob. Everybody knows Spongebob. It's probably like one of the top shows in the world. So in tomorrow's update, we're actually going to be introduced to a Titanic Spongebob, which is definitely something I never thought I would see in the game. Now, the reason why this is so crazy is because shows and content like this usually has pretty strict IP rights, which stands for intellectual property, essentially meaning that this stuff is protected by copyright. So it is very rare to see a big game like Pet Simulator 99 work with these types of brands because obviously they would have to get permission from the company that creates spongebob now i assume because they are actually selling this as an egg that means that they actually did get permission from the creators of spongebob to make this obviously i don't have insight into big games or what they're doing but since they're selling these spongebob eggs as like a content merchandise kind of thing i would assume they definitely got permission to do so which is actually a pretty big deal this is the same reason why a lot of those tower defense games on Roblox often can't use the actual anime characters from animes because those characters are often protected by intellectual property rights. So getting permission from the creators of those animes is very difficult, so it's pretty crazy to see that big games somehow got permission to do this with SpongeBob. Now it is possible there's some sort of licensing agreement or there's just some other way that big games is able to do this without getting direct permission from the creators. Either way though, I think this is a very big deal from big games and it's gonna be really cool to see this egg in the game tomorrow. I have a feeling that this could potentially be one of the best selling eggs that we've seen in quite a bit. SpongeBob is an extremely popular show and everybody pretty much knows it. And considering that the last few exclusive eggs were pretty trash and I don't think people have been a fan of them for quite a bit. I definitely think this egg could do a lot of sales and we could see some big numbers in people actually buying these. Even besides having the chance to get that Titanic Spongebob, you can also get the huge Patrick as well as the huge Mr. Krabs, which also look pretty funny. I just can't go over the fact that they're actually adding this to the game. Even though this is only the first of the seven leaks that we're going over in this video, this leak alone already makes this pretty much a W update. Now next up we actually have the second leak from big games which is probably the biggest part of the content that we're going to see for this week's update. A few days ago they tweeted out this picture which shows a brand new event world portal with the sign saying that it is the dino tycoon. So at this time tomorrow there's going to be a building right here where I'm standing and we're going to be able to enter this dino tycoon world. Now I have seen some people upset with this because as you guys know we've had like back to back event worlds for quite a bit now and I think people were just excited to see that we're not just in a temporary event world for once. So the fact that they brought back another event world this week might upset quite a few people. But honestly, I kind of understand from Big Game's perspective because everybody says that they hate these event worlds, but then they stop playing the game when it's not an event world because Pet Simulator had one of the lowest player counts it's had in quite a bit of time this week, which correlates directly with them not having an event world. So I can see why Big Game's would choose to do an event world over not. A lot of times the community says they want things, but then 
and won't even go ahead and play the game if Big Games actually implements that thing into the game. So since this week, we probably had one of the lowest playtime activity clan battles. That's probably one of the biggest contributors to why the player count has been a little lower. So that could be another reason and it could have nothing to do with the fact that we're not in an event world right now. But besides that tweet from Big Games, we also have this tweet, which is another leak of the Dino Tycoon world. Now, I'm pretty sure the developer David posted this somewhere on a developer forum and that's how they got this picture. Now, honestly, I'm not too sure what's going on in this image. You guys might have to let me know down in the comment section, but I did think Think it was important for some of you to understand. I haven't played many tycoon type Roblox games, so I'm not sure what to expect with this update for tomorrow. But let's just keep flying through these leaks because we still have, I believe, five more to go. Next up, we actually have two brand new enchants that we're expecting to see in the update tomorrow. Now, I have these two enchants on the screen here. So apparently, according to Copycat on Twitter, the names were leaked in the game files. So one of these is the lightning orb and the other is the diamond diamond orb. Now, a lot of you guys are probably confused because if we head over here into the trading terminal, we can actually look up the orb and you can see that we already do have a lightning orb in the game. Now, as you can see from this image on the screen, this lightning orb seems a lot more electric compared to this one. So it pretty much just looks like an exact replica of the lightning orb, but it's yellow. I saw some leakers on Twitter calling this the lightning orb V2. Now, this lightning orb enchant is actually pretty bad. I thought it would be pretty Pretty good and somewhat competing with this nightmare orb but I've done quite a bit of testing and this thing is pretty trash so I'm not sure if this would ever have some use but I'm not sure what the developers are thinking with this new enchant I guess it could potentially be the lightning orb v2 and it could just be a better version of this that is actually pretty good honestly I have no idea you guys are gonna have to decide that for yourselves leakers have been notorious with misnaming these types of enchants though so it could be something potentially different but you guys do have to that this yellow electric book looks exactly like this lightning orb just in the yellow color so i can definitely see what they're talking about with that now in terms of the second enchant obviously it has some sort of diamond icons on the sides of the book but for the book to be a diamond orb enchant i don't even know what that means and to be perfectly honest from everything i've seen on twitter and from leakers i haven't seen a convincing argument for what people think this could be let me know down in the comment section which you guys think this diamond enchant does and we're also not sure if this is going to be a new enchant that's going to be included in the exclusive shop maybe these two enchants get added into the exclusive shop next to this diamond gift hunter or maybe potentially these enchants could be included in the new forever pack that we'll see tomorrow big games has been doing a brand new forever pack every single week so i can definitely see them adding this to the forever pack to encourage people to continue buying it we also have this picture i'll have on the screen here of the lightning and diamond orbs in action so for from this picture you can definitely tell these are what the orbs look like when you are using those orb enchants so people could be right that this is a diamond orb and that the other one is the brand new upgraded lightning orb either way though it's going to be interesting to see let's keep moving forward so i don't make this video too long next up we have the series 3 dlc gifts that were supposed to be added in the update tomorrow but somehow they actually got leaked into the game already as you can see if you go into the training terminal you'll see the series Series 3 gifts are somehow already in the game. Now, it's very unclear whether or not this was supposed to happen. I don't think so because we actually got this leak before these were even put in the game. So it looked like these were intended to be put into the game for the update tomorrow, but something might have happened on the back end where this was accidentally put in the game, which means that all of these huges and pets are already in the game and are starting to sell for quite a bit. From my understanding, it's only this like Series 3 epic gift as well as the series 3 legendary gift so all of these huges and exclusives that are in here are obtainable right now in game but they were leaked a couple days ago so i thought i might as well include them in this video just so you guys could be aware if you weren't already now next up we have a brand new dino machine that's expected to be in this new dino tycoon world tomorrow now, what we're going to be able to do with this machine is currently unknown. My theory is that this is going to be used to craft some sort of dinosaur gift that is going to give you a bunch of random things and maybe a chance at a new hoverboard, a new huge stuff like that. Now, the currency that I think you're going to be using to actually craft these gift bags are this fossil that I'll have on the screen here. So it looks like some sort of currency or drop that we're going to be able to get from this world. 
And using these fossils, we can use that to craft some sort of gift bag or something of that sort. That is the typical agenda from big games. So this is just my assumption. I have nothing to prove it. It is just a theory. Next up, we actually did get a brand new hoverboard, which kind of supports my theory from the last leak. So as you can see on the screen here, this is a brand new uh, hoverboard jet ski, and it's kind of got that Jurassic Park dino kind of tycoon theme that we could expect from something like the forever pack or these gift bags that we might see tomorrow. Either way though, it's not gonna replace the new hoverboards that we got in just the last update from the exclusive shop. So it's either going to be included in some sort of gift bag or in the forever pack. Now, lastly, leak number seven, we actually got this leak from Copycat on Twitter, where he basically just lists out the five names of new eggs that we're gonna be getting in tomorrow's update. And as you guys know, in Pet Simulator 99, when we get leaks of new eggs, this is typically the five new eggs that we're going to see in the five new areas in the world. So in this tweet here, Copycat is saying we're getting the cracked dino egg, the dino cat egg, the dinosaur print egg, the scratched dino egg, and then the tropical jungle egg. So it does seem like this new tycoon world is going to have five new areas. So it is going to be something new to grind. Of course, it is only going to be like one to two weeks. That's usually what big games does. Anyways, that is it. That is the seven leaks for the update that we have tomorrow. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about every single detail that I've talked about in this video. This week was a lot of theories, so we don't really know exactly what's going to be happening in these worlds. So your opinion is just as justified as mine. And of course, I'll have a video very early on tomorrow regarding all the new stuff for the update. So look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one and peace out.